I'm Kelvin Battles, again here from the Jackson District Library. We are here to talk about tax foreclosures. We have three guests today. I'm going to let them introduce themselves and who they're representing. Thank you. My name is Tammy Farnham. I am with Community Action Agency. Hi there, Karen Kaufman. I am the Jackson County Treasurer. Hi, I'm Michael Derby. I'm the Managing Attorney at Legal Services of South Central Michigan here in Jackson. So my last one is is a sadder question. What happens when I'm at the end of the process? I delayed and I got nervous and I just didn't handle it well. And now it's month 25. What happens then? Well, unfortunately, foreclosure does happen. And by law, I have to foreclose. I don't have the ability to say that's not going to happen. I took an oath for this office to honor the law, and the law does say that. It's very clear. And foreclosure is the worst case scenario. That prevention piece is so important so that we don't have to worry about March 31st and the foreclosure happening. It's never easy. And I wish we had more post-foreclosure options in Jackson County. We just don't have those resources resources. But what I do in my office after foreclosure happens on March 31st, the first or second week in April, we're looking at all of those properties. We're going back over all of those properties to determine, did we have our T's crossed and our I's dotted? Were there any last minute bankruptcies that were filed? Were there any last minute issues that popped up? Because we want to make sure that we foreclosed on that property legally. If after we go through all of that and the foreclosure stands, I actually go out and visit every foreclosed property that has a structure on because I want to know what I foreclosed on and I want to talk to the people that it's impacting, good, bad, or indifferent. It's important that I know what we're doing and how it's impacting people. That's been very powerful for me since I've started in this office and I don't take it lightly. When I do that, we come across people who knew about it and didn't have the funds, people who are renters that didn't know about it and their landlord didn't pay. Heirs, meaning they're living in grandma's house or grandpa's house and they didn't know that they needed to legally change the name from grandma or grandpa to them so that they were the rightful legal owner of the property. We're doing what we can with the restrictions that I have under the law. Foreclosure is never good. It's never good for the community. It's never good for the people that it's impacting. So prevention is the most important thing. When there are issues issues for people. We try to navigate them to like community action agency for uh, possible where are they going to move to next options. Every situation is unique and it's unfortunate that it happens, but we're working our darndest to stop it from happening. I think it's fair to say that you certainly don't enjoy foreclosing people's properties. You don't want to do it. If, nope. if you can try not, if you can do what you can not do, then you are willing to do so. Yes, absolutely. So if you are in concerned about it, talk to us today. Please don't wait. I can give you all my contact information. We want to help you stop this from happening. Karen, I think that's actually a great idea. Can you give your contact information out? Absolutely. Our main office phone number is 517-788-4418. My direct phone number is 517-768-6728. I can also give you my email address, kkoffman, K-C-O-F-F-M-A-N at mijackson.org. And you can stop in the office, you can call, you can email. We have many different payment options. Here's another thing that I want to make clarity on. When you get a statement from our office, and it can be a rather large bill, which is very intimidating, and you say, I can't afford this. I don't have the dollars to pay this bill in full. So I'm just going to set it aside. I would strongly encourage you to try to chip away at it and make payments at it versus paying the full lump sum. We accept partial payments for any amount at any time. You don't need to sign any paperwork. The hardest part for people to do is budget to find those extra dollars to pay that bill. So if you say, you know, you look at your income and you look at what you're responsible for paying $50 every two weeks. That helps reduce stress. It helps reduce the total bill that's due. We have many payment options available. Mm -hmm.